Lymphedema is a word you might hear when you're being treated for cancer, especially if radiation therapy or surgery is part of your treatment plan. On a very basic level, lymphedema itself is swelling or a buildup of fluid in a part of your body. And lymphedema can happen when lymph nodes or lymph vessels are damaged. Common places that we see lymphedema are in the arms, the legs, the chest wall, and trunk. But it can happen anywhere in the body. To help you understand why lymphedema can happen during your cancer treatment, I'll start with a basic explanation of the lymphatic system. Your lymphatic system is a complex network of nodes, vessels, tissues, and organs that spans most of your body. The vessels transport mostly clear lymph fluid. As the lymph fluid travels through the vessels, it passes through lymph nodes. The job of the lymph nodes is to protect you from infection by filtering waste products from the fluid and then returning the rest of that fluid to your blood. If your lymph nodes or vessels are damaged, the lymphatic fluid can't drain properly, and this could cause swelling, known as lymphedema. Lymphedema typically occurs in the same area of the body that is being treated for cancer. For example, if lymph nodes are removed from your left armpit, you could be at risk for developing lymphedema in your left arm and the front and back of your left torso. In the U.S., it is common for lymphedema to be related to cancer or cancer treatment. Surgery, radiation, infection, and tumors can all cause damage to lymph nodes or lymph vessels, which may lead to lymphedema. Significant swelling from lymphedema can decrease your movement, making it difficult to get through your daily activities. Untreated lymphedema can increase your risk for getting an infection and may impact your cancer treatment. If you notice swelling during or after your cancer treatment, tell your care team. You may be referred to an SECA certified lymphedema therapist who will evaluate your swelling and create a therapy plan for you.